this transition that's uh, that stood out to you and how, how have you felt getting your, your feet wet in this? Um, it honestly, it's felt, it's felt like home since I first came here. You know, met the coaches, met the players, you know, everything was smooth and, you know, just, you know, I came here and everything just started clicking, you know. So I've been enjoying my time here and I'm looking forward to, you know, you know, making a lot of, a lot of memories here. Are you fully healthy at this point or, or when did that kind of happen for you in the course of your career in the last year or so? Uh, I, I'm, I've been healthy for the past, for the past year. About a, about a year or so. So I'm fully healthy, moving, and, you know, I'm only getting healthier. What did you learn about just transferring the first time in that experience, and, and how are you going to use that experience here in Nebraska? Uh, from the first time I transferred, you know, just to kind of uh, just just stay poised. I remember the first time, you know, I kind of I, I got excited but super overwhelmed, and, you know, I, I, I kind of overlooked some things that I, I shouldn't have overlooked. You know, the second time around, you know, I really took my time to see what was best for me, and ultimately that's what led me to this position. So, yeah. What uh, what stands out to you about Coach McGuire and the way that he's uh, he's been able to coach you up so far? Coach McGuire, he, he's young, as y'all know, and he's very very energized. Uh, he's super super smart. He knows the game uh, uh, better than a lot of people out there, and. Um, just being around him, he pushes you really hard. You know, he, he has very high standards for everybody in that room. And, you know, he expects everybody to live up to that standard. So, you know, that's the kind of coach he is. And, you know, I'm excited to work with him. You've been around big time programs. What stood out to you when you got here, even with the mat drills and winter work about the culture at Nebraska when you first arrived? Uh, you know, what stood out was, you know, everybody, a lot of people were bought, are bought in. You know, if, if you have a lot of players who aren't bought in, then, you know, things aren't going to go the way you, you want them to go. So the, the more people, the more players that you can get bought in to what the coaches are trying to say, you know, there's, there's going to be a lot of success that, you know, results from that. And that's one thing I've noticed. So, you know, we got a good thing going on. And, you know, a lot of people are, you know, just committed, you know, and that's what you want to see out of, uh, out of uh, the players. Was there an initial connection that led you to look at Nebraska, a coach that you'd heard of, um, you know, a, a friend, a mutual mutual relationship, anything? Uh, it, it's kind of weird because um, I, 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 didn't, I didn't really, I didn't, re I wasn't really looking at Nebraska until one day Coach G, Coach G had, uh, had hit me, and you know we're from the same area, so that's a that's a that's a connection right there. And just understand, knowing that there's somebody from the same area that I'm from, you know, he knows what it's like coming out of there. So that's, you know, that's kind of one thing that drew me over here. But, yeah. What do you feel like the strength of your game is? And what's that thing that you're looking to maybe take the next step on this spring? I feel like the strength of my game is, uh, you know, being able to create separation, catch the, uh, catch the ball, 50-50 catches, um, my football IQ, and... Yeah, I, I think those are my three strengths. You know, still can improve on those things, but I feel like, you know, for me, those that's where I stand out to myself. Coach Roll had mentioned that um, one of the things that he wanted the receivers to work on is beating press coverage consistently. Um, just in your own words, what, what's it take to be a good receiver who beats press coverage? Uh, what, what it takes to be press coverage, you have to, you know, know and understand the DB. You have to really... Um, there are times where you may need to be physical. Sometimes you may need to rely on your technique. You know, it all it all comes down to understanding your opponent and you know, just being consistent. You know, you, you can't just rely on talent. You have to re rely on your technique. You know, revert back to your training. And if you just trust your training and you go out there and then you apply it, then you'll begin to see the consistency. You know, and you know you'll consistent consistently beat press coverage. So. Yeah. Isaiah, how do you describe the connection and chemistry you have with the quarterbacks after being here just a few months? Uh, it, it is very strong. You know, each of those quarterbacks, you know, we is uh, you know, they're they're all three different. You know, but they're all three, you know, amazing quarterbacks, and the the chemistry is there with each and one, of, each and every one of them. You know, we go out there and practice. I've practiced with all three. They can all sling it. So I'm I'm glad to have all three of them. You know, go out, come out there and you know compete. You're a bigger bodied wide receiver, but how is it 
playing with, you know, kind of those smaller speed skiers next to you, like Dave Jason Doss and Jalen Moore and those guys. You know, you, you learn from those guys, you know, uh, as a bigger body receiver, you know, seeing the things that the smaller receivers do, you know, maybe they're naturally more quicker or, or more elusive, you know, I just, you know, I try to do my best to see what I can learn from them, you know, and try to apply it in my game. So that's what I say. Was it like coming in here at the same time with Jamal, um, maybe having a similar deal where you're, you're, you've been around the college game a while, and, and what have you seen him bring to the room? I think it's great. You know, Jamal is a very, very skilled player, obviously very experienced. You guys have seen what he has done. I think it's, you know, great to come in with a receiver like him, you know, uh, and play alongside a receiver with experience. You know, he – he elevates my game. I elevate his game. You know, we, we, we make each other better. We make each other compete. And being able to come out here and, you know, have him on one side, have me on another side, you know, I think it's a pretty good combo. And, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing what we can what we can do this year. Is it, you obviously go, go up against some of the corners. Um, Tommy Hill's a veteran, a lot of young guys in that room also. Um, what have you seen from that position? Any, anybody stood out to you? Uh, it's a very, very competitive competitive uh, group. I like Tommy. I like going against him. We was just talking some trash earlier today. So I like going against uh, uh, him. And really all those guys, you know, all of those guys are, are competitive and they're learning from each other, you can see. So being able to go out there, you know, you can't take no plays off, you know. That's one thing I noticed about the group, because if you take a play off, then, you know, that's that's their chance to, to get in on you. So you always gotta gotta stay alert and you know, just keep the same mentality for each of DB across the board. Anything else for Isaiah? Good. All right. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you.